Hello and welcome to our practice session on immunology. Here we would discuss five question types in 10 minutes. All of these question types are super important for IIT JAM or any other MSc level entrance examinations. So stay tuned till the end. But before that, I know that many of you guys are preparing for IIT JAM or many related MSc level entrance exam where you need to cover a lot of concept in very short span of time and you are thinking how you can make your brain work harder and how can you give online examination and mock test which would increase your performance and boost your confidence so in that situation let me tell you an academy is offering a huge variety of uh, contents and examinations almost daily so the free special classes would start from tomorrow and you would get the free classes daily and the link is provided in the description you just need to click the link use my code ap10 and you can access all of them so every monday tuesday wednesday and every weekdays you would get some kind of test related to a particular uh, examination and it would be really helpful for your preparation so download the app use my code ap10 and start preparing for these examinations and what about the financial aspect? Don't worry about that part because these kind of tests are free. But at the same time, if you want to learn from the educators, you want to clear your concepts and get to the plus platform, then this is the price chart, which is super low, right? Compared to any other thing in the market. Okay, let's move on to our question answer discussion. So first question type is from cells and organs of the immune system and this is a very common generic question i would say which one of the following cell is not derived from the myeloid progenitor neutrophil basophil macrophages and b cells so if you have guessed it correctly that there are two type of lineages lymphoid lineage and the myeloid lineage here you can see macrophage basophil and neutrophil all are from myeloid lineage Whereas B cell is from the lymphoid lineage. So you have to justify not derived. So let me tell you that there are similar questions which were asked in IIT jam. Let me show you that. The cells involved in allergic reaction and containing surface receptor for IgE antibodies and histamine are. So obviously they wanted to ask about several cell types doing specific functions. Here the correct answer would be basophil and mast cells. This was asked in 2018. So if you want to learn more about hyper, I mean, uh, hypersensitivity response one, you can click on the I button. There was a similar question which says gene rearrangement in which of the following cell types lead to antigen receptor diversity in immune cell. Macrophages, B cell, NK cell, T cell. Everybody knows that B cell expresses B cell receptor or antibody. So VDJ recombination is important for that. The kick here is T cell. T cells also undergoes a VDJ recombination in their T cell receptor. So if you want to learn more about that, you can click on the I button. So these are the examples that they are asking question from several cell types that are useful for immune system or their functions. So cell types and organ types in the immune system is an important topic. Okay, in recent years, IITJAM 2020, they said T cells and B cells are lymphocyte, erythrocyte, epithelial cell, or squamous cell. This was super easy, right? It's lymphocytes. Okay, by the way, in Unacademy, I have detailed flashcards which would really help your learning process. So these flashcards would help you to recall and understand these topics in very short span of time. Question type 2 is from antigen antibody interaction and types of antibodies. This question says secreted IgM antibody was loaded on SDS page and later in separate experiment it was loaded in native page. How many bands would be obtained in each conditions? So 2, 1, 5, 10, 10, 10, 3, 1. So the correct answer would be here 2, 1. Okay. I'll explain why. But before that, let me tell you that IIT Jam 2016 asked a similar question. Pure IgG antibody was run on SDS page under reducing condition. How many bands would be obtained after Kumasi blue staining? So the answer is two bands would be obtained. One corresponding to the heavy chain, one corresponding to the light chain. So if you reduce this antibody with some kind of reducing agents, then there would be breakage of these disulfide bonds which would lead to production of two heavy chains two light chains and we would get one one band corresponding to each type 
Okay, question from IIT Jam 2018 says an example of transcytosis is transmission of nerve impulse, a pancreatic cell secreting pancreatic juice, an infant getting antibody from mother's milk, a macrophage involving a bacteria. Correct answer is option C. So, IgA antibody undergoes transcytosis reaction. So, similar type of questions that is for your practice are the following. You can pause this particular section and you can solve this question for your own back practice. But the common trend that you understood from here is that there are some aspects of antigen-antibody interaction, types of antibodies and their function, the unique aspects about that. And this question practice, uh, practice session would help you with that part. So, solve these questions. You can also let me know in the comment section. Anyway, question type 3 is from immune response, primary versus secondary immune response or types of immunity. Okay, naturally acquired active immunity would be most likely acquired through which of the following process? Naturally acquired active immunity. Vaccination, drinking colstrum, natural birth, infection with a disease causing organism followed by recovery. Here the correct option would be option D. When you are infected with a or I mean pathogen and then recovered, your active immunity is formed. So in the line of same question, in 2021, they have asked a question that the type of immunological protection provided by plasma therapy, and you know plasma therapy is now super popular these days due to COVID. Options are natural active. Natural passive, artificial active, artificial passive. And the correct option would be artificial passive. Just to give you a quick idea, this is the situation. So active immunity is like whenever you do like natural infections or artificially acquired when you give the vaccination. Passive immunity is basically antibody mediated. So your immune, uh, immune modulators are injected in the body either from mother to infant or artificially via plasma therapy. So this question was super easy. Now question type 4 is from MHC TCR interaction or T cell B cell interaction. So well, they would ask questions like this. For example, name the part of processed antigen that binds to MHC molecule and recognized by the T cell. Try this question by your own. Okay, let me tell you in 2020, they asked a question like, like, which of the following is involved in activation of cytotoxic T cell? And the answers would be MHC1 and T cell receptor. MHC1 bound peptide and T cell receptor interaction is important for cytotoxic uh, T cell activation. So they ask about these receptor interactions as well, right? On infection by a specific viruses, a host generates cytotoxic T cell that kills A, B and C and D. A says infected cell expressing self MHC, infected cell expressing MHC from a different genotype, uninfected cell expressing self MHC, cells infected by unrelated virus expressing self MHC. So the correct answer would be option A. I'm not providing a detailed explanation for that. But anyway, what you can understand that they are asking questions from receptor interactions. So just to clarify that, okay, Let's say this is an infected cell. You would have an interaction between MHC1 and TCR, right? And that, that is how the cytotoxic T cell would be activated. By the way, CTLA, which was mentioned in others' uh, question, that is kind of a suppressor of T cell activity. So all of these receptor and their functions, that is also a very important aspect. Question 5 is more rare, but this type deals with diseases associated with immune system. Generally, they would ask questions like this. All of the following are autoimmune disorders except Graves disease, SCID, rheumatoid arthritis or Addition's disease. So here the correct option would be SCID which is a immunodeficiency disease and not autoimmune disease. Autoimmune disease means like when your immune system is hyperactive and really causing harm to your body. Now here question 31 which was from IIT Jam 2016. This says identify the autoimmune diseases among the following. That means you understand that they are asking questions based on diseases and so these are the important types. So I hope it helped you. Now immunology is a complicated topic. So you need flashcards, notes to make things easier for you and keep things organized. So I have a wide variety of flashcards uh, in an academy. So you can really learn with them 
and it's really easy to learn from these flashcards because everything would flash in front of your eyes once you use them the graphics are visually appealing and the notes are really really concise so if you want to access all of them you can access my course in an academy which is not as price heavy as your or offline options so go to an academy and subscribe now because here all the educators work very hard to bring the best content towards the uh, students so i hope this video was helpful enough if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you